Today we're hiking from our red cottage at the south of Bottle Cove to the left of the frame there, heading towards the viewing spot of the South Head Lighthouse, which is on the south side of the entrance to the Humber Arm. That is the beginning of the hike, which will take us three kilometres across rough terrain to the South Head Lighthouse viewing spot. The cap of the original lighthouse is shown here, taken when the lighthouse was dismantled after it had been made into an automatic affair in 1980. The trek is a long three kilometre hike across rugged terrain. At this point we've reached the halfway mark having hiked parallel to the coast and there we're looking through the trees at Grassy Gulch, a favourite spot of our late friend Harvey Shepherd, who used to hike here regularly for his own pleasure as well as occasionally to snare rabbits. We're looking towards the final hill cliff that separates Grassy Gulch from the Gulf of St Lawrence which is just coming into view to the west now. We're looking towards the southwest down towards where Bottle Cove is at the foot of that hill in the centre of the screen. Coming towards the centre of the screen now is Cedar Cove and just below the cloud line on the horizon you can see the Port of Port Peninsula to the west of Stephenville, a French stronghold during the period of the French fishery on the west coast of Newfoundland. We're panning around towards the west, taking in some of the high hill that we see directly before Grassy Gulch when we're looking out our lounge window from the cottage towards the northwest. At this point we are entering the saddle to the west of Grassy Gulch that will take us to a view of the Bay of Islands, one of the two bays of islands charted by Captain Cook, the other of course being in the North Island of New Zealand. Coming into the centre of the frame now is a wee island known as Weebol and that can be seen clearly at the entrance to the Humber Arm as one is driving towards Corner Brook coming or going from Bottle Cove. We're now looking out west again towards the Gulf of St Lawrence and now south to Cedar Cove and once again west to the high hill that marks Grassy Gulch seen here also in the centre of the screen. That's where we've come from and now we're looking out almost directly west towards the road that runs from York Harbour just coming into the middle of the screen now at the foot of the mountain Blow Me Down. Blow Me Down would be about a third of the way to Corner Brook from Bottle Cove. We are now looking at the range of hills that separates where we are at the top of Grassy Gulch from the Humber Arm and looking towards Weebol and again out towards the Gulf of St Lawrence. The wind is really howling at this point and we are now looking towards the Bay of Islands and down towards where the South Head Lighthouse is. The head is just in the to the right of the screen now and we're looking down to the transatlantic which is a boat that takes wood chips from the Corner Brook Mill to other parts of the world heading south now towards Nova Scotia as it will make the long beat down the west coast of Newfoundland past Stephenville to wherever it is headed. It is now time for us to start the two-hour trek back to Bottle Cove and it has been a wonderful hike which we would happily recommend to anybody.